streams, so my soul longs for you, O oh God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed and is suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, I will go and heal him. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I will say to this one, go, and he goes, and to that one, come, and he comes. And I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such good, great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go, it will be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that very hour.
In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. We pray for all Christians throughout the world, that each person may be a servant of Christ, truly and faithfully. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Renew your peace in our hearts and give us the courage of faith in our daily life. Free us from all prejudice and fear. Deepen our understanding and our love. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. May those in authority work to establish justice and freedom in their countries and throughout the world. We pray for countries that are at war, asking that peacemakers will be enabled to do their job. We pray for a peaceful transition of power in the United States of America at this difficult time. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. Show us the way to bring your compassion to the poor, the sick, the lonely and the unloved. We pray for all who are caring for those suffering from COVID-19 in the NHS or at home. We pray for all who are sick asking for your healing touch. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. We pray for all who are in prison, condemned or exiled from their home, for asylum seekers in our own towns and in our own country, for those who are seeking safety In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. We pray for parents and teachers and all those entrusted with the care of children and young people in this time of pandemic. Praying for those who are trying to learn at home and for teachers and lecturers who are preparing resources for them. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Console those who are bereaved or in sorrow or dying. We remember before you those we love and see no longer. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. God our Father, you care for us and know all our needs. May we find rest in your love. In faith let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. A prayer from Teze by Brother Roger. Jesus, risen Lord, you change and transfigure our heart just as it is. You do not even ask us to uproot the weeds. You take care of that. With our own wounds, thorns that hurt us, you light a fire. And a way forward opens in us to welcome your spirit of compassion and the spirit of praise that brings healing. So that what is most resistant in us our failures, our refusals and our inner abysses 
may be transfigured into energies of love and reconciliation. All you ask of us is that we welcome you and rejoice in the miracle of your forgiveness. Amen. Thank you.